so today we're going to go over the installation of the barter decks and also of Agama in order to participate in the test or the stress test that is coming up this weekend. We want as many people as possible to install the wallet, to uh, install the test coins, and also to install the barter deck. So this video will go through the installations and I will also show you how to split the UTXOs from your Agama wallet into your smart address and I'll go step by step so for now I'm in the github webpage and I'm going to download the barter decks uh, latest release I'm also going to download Agama 27B, which I will provide the link for in the guide. Once they're both installed, you can um, extract them and then you can either run the application or do the install like I do with Agama. I will run through the install because I have a previous installation here. This will be the case with most people. So this will go through the actual steps of the uninstall and the reinstall. You just double click the app. Give it permissions. and the wizard will start going through the procedures you will select reinstall current version and it'll take some moments for it to install Once it's finished installing, we're going to launch Agama and we're going to activate beer and we're going to activate pizza, which are the testnet coins that we've been using for the stress test. And uh, what's going to happen is James decided that instead of swapping for um, instead of swapping beer for pizza, that he would allow people to swap beer for Komodo because what we were doing for the stress test was that we had uh, a reward for the top three um, atomic swappers but he decided to instead just make it a general reward and make it into KMD so anyone who participates is actually trading um, beer for actual KMD so it's a bit fun of marketing I guess in a way because we've gotten uh, a ton of people that want to participate so here I'm in Agama and I'm going to launch beer in native. Once it launches, it will begin syncing. So make sure you give it network access. That's why I did this on Windows because I knew that uh, most people will use Windows. The screen is a bit small because I'm using a VM. Um, in any case, so I do the same steps for pizza and I wait for the synchronization, which might take 10 minutes tops. I go to the receive address um, and I'm actually going to open up the notepad. I'm going to save my receive address because the receive address is where I will ask for um, in the support channel for the beer in order to participate. So I'm, I'm using the Agama native address as the funding address pretty much. Komodo shares smart addresses. So for example, it's similar to the ERC20 tokens where they all share the same address with like Ethereum. 
So since beer and pizza are Komodo parallel chains, they share the same address as Komodo. Okay, so we're a hundred percent synchronized now. And I'm gonna open up like Slack and I am going to join the TradeBots channel, which is where all the um all the barter decks action is happening. Either that or the support channel is fine. And I'll ask one of the support guys uh, to send me some coins. I'll paste my address. And in some moments, we should have a confirmation from one of the guys that's um, funding the beer addresses. If you're lucky enough, James might send you the beer himself. Okay, so I got a confirmation, and I should be able to see my balance now on Agama because I'm fully synchronized. And there it is, 10,000. Um, it's on the right-hand side. Once it's confirmed, we should be able to see the transaction tab. So I'll give it a few moments. The balance is there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare to uh, go through the barter decks. Not installation, because it doesn't use an installer, but you'll just launch the app. And when you launch the app, we'll have to create a seed for our smart addresses. So now here we see our balance. It's 10,000 beer, which is what everyone will get to participate. And I will launch uh, Barter Decks now. We've already downloaded it, so you can extract it and uh, go ahead and launch it. I created a shortcut, so you can launch it from a shortcut. The market maker is launching up, and once it's done, you can generate a passphrase. So we'll generate this passphrase. We'll save it as well because this will be our smart address passphrase. Now, with this passphrase, you will generate the private keys for all the coins in Barter Dex. That means you can recover your funds in any wallet. Um, so the seed is like your private key, so you have to keep it safe. When you paste, there's usually a space, so always be careful. Backspace, and then it'll let you uh, verify. Now, once we're inside, we can click Add Coins, and we will find Beer and we'll add it in native and then we will find pizza or actually let's add Komodo in Electrum because we don't want to download the full Komodo blockchain that would take days and as you can see now we have a different address this is our smart address and that is what I will use to break down the UTXOs. So that's where I will send my UTXOs. And I'm going to add pizza as well on native. Okay, so we see no balances and 
All right, so let's copy our address and let's go back to Agama. And what we're going to do, we always tell people to send um, send funds in triplets. So if you send, for example, three Komodo, you should try to split it in three UTXOs. Or it doesn't have to be even, but for example, I'm about to make three transactions. I'm about to make a transaction of one beer, and I am going to make another transaction of 1.2 beer, and then I'm going to make another transaction of 0 0.1 beer. And let me finish this transaction. Actually, it might not go through. Yeah. So when you make the first transaction, you'll have to wait for a verification because when I sent, um, when you get the 10,000 beer, it's in one UTXO. So when you spend, for example, one beer out of those 10,000, it has to break it up. So it takes one confirmation for you to, to be able to send again. So we'll give it a few seconds. And okay, so we're able to send again. We'll send 0 0.1. And now, I'm going to repeat the same thing, um, but I'll repeat it with a little bit of a higher number. Oh, I have to send the 1.2. Once I send the 1.2, then I'll send the higher, the higher amount, which will be 100 Komodo or 100 beer. And the reasoning behind this is because atomic swaps are. UTXO based so the the trade bot in barter decks will try to match the UTXOs that are the closest so if you buy for example um, 0.5 Komodo for 200 beer let's just throw that number and you have a, a UTXO of 190 but then you have another UTXO of 10 now you have something that could match but if you have a UTXO of 500 that is way off it would be very hard to match that transaction so you need to try to have the UTXOs in a random pattern, but um, try to have them small enough to where you can buy orders by matching small UTXOs. Okay, so I'll finish 120. So as you can see, I did the same thing, but just with a higher um, multiple. And I'll do a 10 Komodo. Uh, 10 beer. I keep calling it Komodo. It's beer. And I keep forgetting to wait for the confirmation. Okay, perfect. So now we should have some funds in our smart address and we should have a variety of UTXOs. And I'll just show you a little bit of it. Um, you will be able to see orders here when they're propagated, but for now there isn't. So I'll just turn, um, I'll switch it to pizza. There should be still some orders live here. Oh, there's some buy orders. Uh, one moment. Okay, so there's one order. What you would do is you select the order that you see um, propagated. And I always raise the bid price just a little higher. And I will bid the amount to something close to a UTXO that I have. So for example, we sent a uh, 10 um, beer UTXO, so something like 11 beer. We would be able to match that since we sent uh, small UTXOs and large UTXOs. So you would hit the bid button and the order would propagate and we would be able to see it on the buyer side. There it is, yeah. It's uh, on the buyer side, and basically, when there's a, a UTXO on the seller side that matches, your atomic swap will go through. And that's pretty much it. That those are the steps. I hope you found it uh, easy enough to understand. I know it's complicated stuff, but we're trying to make it as easy as as, as possible to use. And um, we're always available for questions, so please join Slack or write us at supportkomodoplatform.com for questions.